But when you talk about the challenges before us together as humanity, now that is something else again. Now that is something about on which we need to ponder. And we need to ponder on that very honestly. Uh, because absolutely, you know, we can uh, uh, obfuscate and things like that. But that is not going to make the problem go away. You have countries which are, you know, whose per capita emissions are four times, five times, six times, 12 times the world average. Now the question is, when are they going to come down? Where are these emissions of these uh, countries who have who are emitting seven times, twelve times the world average? When are they going to bring down their emissions? Now we, what we hear is that by 2050 or 2060 we'll become carbon neutral. I and mean, 2060 is far away. By that time, if the people continue to emit at the rate at which they are emitting, the world won't survive. So what are you going to do in the next five years? We want to know that the world wants to know that. What are you going to do in the next ten years? That's what the. Uh, uh, what uh, the world wants to know. Now, uh, so that is something which we are waiting to hear. You had Kyoto, places were made. You had Paris, places were made. I don't uh, know as to how many of the countries have actually uh, achieved the places which they have made. Now, these are things which need to be looked upon and on which we want to hear as as humanity want to hear this. That is one thing which I want to say. 20, 2060 sounds good, but it's just that. It just sounds good. I mean, I would call it, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but a pie in the sky. What we want to know is what will happen five years down the line, what will happen six year, uh, 10 years down the line? When are you going to bring your emissions down to the world average or below the world average? You see, the developed world has uh, occupied almost 80% of the carbon space already. Now, in order to... Uh, give space to others to develop. You have the whole of the African continent. You know, you have 800 million people who do not have access to electricity. But it's about those countries. Now, you can't say that you come to net zero. No, sorry. They have to develop. Now, that development will require consumption of steel in huge quantities. That development will require consumption of cement in huge quantities. They also want to build skyscrapers. They also want a higher level standard of living for their people. And you can't stop them. Because we have already occupied so much of carbon space. Now, I believe that it's important for all the developed countries to talk about not net zero, but about removing more carbon from the atmosphere than they are adding. Net negative is what they need to talk about. And they need to tell us as to what they will do by 2030, by 2025. These are what the world is about. And you have to give space to these countries whose present per capita energy consumption is, let's say, one-fifth of the world average, whose present emissions is one-sixth of the world average. You need to give them space to develop. You need to understand that they will consume more and more steel, they'll make more steel. They'll consume more and more cement, they'll make more cement. They'll consume more and more plastics, they'll make more plastics. Now, all these will emit carbon. It will.